What's up everyone? Train Freak here and you can see we are starting the rebuild process. This is a number six that I built myself and we've got it installed. Um, I'm going to have to replace the wire from the tortoise with piano wire. That switch will be fully functional. So and of course remember we built the switches there. I just got to put ties on them. So I have a switch here switch further down and a switch further down but this is today's episode here I have a paper template we have three turnouts here so let's start off this is a number 10 with a 36 inch radius on the outside 30 on the inside I put my locomotive here on the rail so that way you can see there is plenty of room. My fingers go behind it. Move that out of the way now. So one number 10 curved turnout, 3630. We have another number 10, 3630. So 36 on the outside, 30 on the inside. This one here is going to be a number 10, but it's a 3027. And I will explain why. So, if we are on the outside track, and track 5 is the one farthest from us, and I know I mentioned three turnouts, which is four tracks, but there's a, there's, a, there's a fourth turnout. If you stay on the outside, it's 36 the whole way. 36 to up there. If you start on the outside, you start at a 36, and you curve into a 30. Track 3. Now we're going to take the diverging... So it curves into a 30 inch radius, then we hit the outside which stays at a 30 inch radius. Come back over here, go into the inside to track 2 and track 1. 30 inch radius, it narrows down to a 27 inch radius. And then it comes to this here, number 6Y, which will allow me to do 5 tracks. Now, the only obstacle I see in the way is that block of wood right there which holds part of the backdrop in. So I'm going to have to come up with an extra thing on it because, I mean, literally this track's going to curve and it's going to probably hit that block. Uh, what I might do is trim this really, really, really tight. Instead of putting a screw in, I might just wood glue it. So, but this is so that way we can get staging set back up and doing it this way is going to fix two problems problem number one i had this atlas curved turnout um let's see where was it uh, right right here and my passenger cars could not take the inside radius because that's a 24 inch radius the outside's a 30 and it would take the outside just fine. But my passenger train's one of my shortest trains. And the way that this was set up, there was a turnout here, and then there was a turnout right up there. So here's the, the point to it. And so the shortest track would be tracks one and track two. And so my passenger train would always derail. And even though this switch work is, is a great switch, um, I will say Atlas did a really, really good job on these here. And they made it to where the frog juicer connections on the outside. It's not conducive to the passenger cars that I run. All right. So I kind, kind of needed something so that way I can run my passenger fleet. Now it comes into another obstacle, and, then, and it's okay. Like I said, we're going to be 30 inches here, 27 here. If it doesn't make it on the 27, then I will be forced to move it to track 3, which would be a 30 inch. But I would rather like to try to keep it on track 1 or track 2. If I can't make track 1 work, maybe track 2 will work. It's number 6 Y. It goes through number six turnouts, like a crossover, with no problem. So I would think it would go through that Y. 
And I'm hoping that 27 inches is going to be big enough uh, where 24 is not. So today's episode, we're going to make a custom made turnout. So let's get over to the workbench and we'll show you what parts are needed. All right, so now I'm at the workbench. So I got my template laid out here. These are pieces of foam. It's a uh, project panels that you can get at Home Depot. It's uh, one inch thick. These are two by twos. I bought two of them to put side by side. So that's what I'm gonna use. Um, we're gonna use Code 83 Micro Engineering Rail. These come in three foot sticks to do the curve turnout. This is a Fast Tracks rail bender, so I will be using that. We've got frog helpers. Here's the number six for the Y, and then when I get done with it, we'll be using the number 10 here for all the curve turnouts. Now, from my understanding is when you build these, you have to start with the Y or the, the frog first, and everything obeys the frog. I'm not sure if I need to start with this frog or if I should start with this frog. I'm leaning on starting here um, because that way these two stock rails, or actually this stock rail here, will turn into another frog point. So I think I need to start here, work my way from here to here, work there as well, to here, to there. That's the way I am going to go about it. Other parts we need, um, I've got the Fast Tracks Stock A tool. We got both point forms for the number six, the number 10. Um, to do that type of work, I've got my bastard file, and it's a single cut bastard file. So that way we can file the rail down. And then of course I have several of these copper PCB ties which will go there and what we'll use to hold those in place inside this here pill bottle I've got some micro engineering uh, spikes let me see if I can get that on the hand there we go so that way you can see it's L shaped so we'll poke that in and hold the spike down where the dark gray ties are located and then of course you're going to need flux, solder, soldering iron, that is a tip, uh, not thinner, but, or maybe it is thin, tinner, so that way I can tin the tip. If I mess up on a solder joint, I got a solder vacuum here, and of course, you know, Sharpie to mark where the stock rails are going to be. Um, wire brush to kind of clean stuff up and of course I've got other files and things like that too like this is going to be the file that we use to gap the PCB boards or the PC boards and we'll use the gapster to help with that so that's everything we're going to need hopefully it's everything I'm going to need and then after we get the rail built we'll plyo blonde or plyo bond I've got some in a jar, but I've also got some in a tube. And slap some ties from Kapler Lumber Company on there and see how that goes. All right, so let's get on to the build.